Depending on what kind of wheels you have, you have several options in the Adams Polishes line for a wheel cleaner. Now, if your vehicle has the OEM, the original equipment manufactured wheels that come on a vehicle like this, sort of silver, painted, clear coated, durable, tough, then the wheel and tire cleaner might be the perfect product for you. Similarly, on the Escalade just behind me, another vehicle that has OEM wheels that are painted and clear coated, and they're nice and tough. Now, this product, our wheel and tire cleaner, we specifically designed this to be a very powerful cleaner. It is extremely effective, and our kit comes with all the things that you need to thoroughly clean the wheels, the tires, and the wheel well on a vehicle that has wheels like this. Now, it comes with a dilution bottle like this. This little funnel makes it so easy to go ahead and fill it up. Now, here's the thing to know about this stuff. If you have aftermarket wheels of any kind, this is not your product, okay? If you have anodized or polished wheels, this is not your product. Again, it's important for you to use the right product on the right wheels because you don't wanna cause damage. If you do have a non-original wheel setup on your car, you wanna look at our wheel cleaner, or if you have delicate wheels, our eco wheel or our delicate wheel cleaner. That's gonna be something that's gonna be very interesting to you if you have wheels that are anodized, polished, powder coated black, or otherwise, okay? There's a definite product for that, but this is the stuff right here. This kit comes with all the stuff that you would need to go ahead and be extremely effective at cleaning your wheels and tires. Now, step one is make sure that you have a bucket ready to go with clean water in it, okay? You wanna make sure and use a bucket with clean water in it because all of your brushes are gonna get really dirty as you go from wheel to wheel, tire to tire, wheel well to wheel well. They're gonna get filthy and you wanna make sure to have your, your brushes in the bucket. In fact, I keep a bucket specifically for just my wheel cleaning tools. I leave all my brushes in it all the time. The wheel cleaners, I leave it in there all the time so that it's just ready to go. The next most important thing that you're gonna need, you're gonna need an outstanding pressure washer. Why? Well, removing the right amount of dirt with the, the least amount of scrubbing, that's a job for a pressure washer and it's extremely important to use. So if do you have a garden hose, are you gonna use it? Sure, you can use it. I'm just saying, if you're gonna be, a, if you're gonna be the most successful at cleaning your wheels and tires, pressure washer is gonna get you there. Now, before I ever spray cleaners or chemicals on a wheel or a tire, I always wanna rinse it first. You notice I always like to do the wheels and tires first. Why? I don't wanna get water all over this truck or car while I'm cleaning the wheels. I wanna only get the wheels, the wheel wells, and the tires wet at this point. Notice I really tried to douse and really clean as much as I could of the surface dirt off of the barrel of the wheel, the back of the wheel, the brake caliper, and the face of the wheel and tire with the pressure washer. Now, it's important that we always think about why to do what we're doing. One of the reasons that we always wanna hit the water on there first is because I wanna dilute the cleaner a little bit with this product. I wanna make sure that I'm using this in minimal sun, you know, we're a pretty cool day today, so I'm not too worried about, not too worried about it, but a minimal sun is gonna be important, and you wanna make sure that you, what you have is the ability to go ahead and get excellent coverage and excellent dilution so you don't have any overly concentrated cleaner, especially with this product. So, here we go, I'm gonna into the barrels of the wheels, the face of the wheel, the tire, You can see it instantly turn all the dirt and the crud on the tires brown. You know it's working that way. And then I'm gonna do the wheel well. And the suspension parts up there a little bit too. I'm gonna to get all that with this product and make sure that I'm thoroughly dousing it, okay? So now, one of the first, one of the first products I'm gonna keep in there is called the fender brush. This fender brush is the brush I like to use to get all of the crud out of the wheel well. When is this especially important? 
Well, it's especially important in the winter time if you've been driving in the mud or the crud or the snow, you really wanna get all the crud out of there, okay? So the fender brush, that's important. Right now on these carpeted wheel wells, I have very little dirt. I was able to get most of it out with just the pressure washer. So scrub more if you got more crud. The next one, the tire brush, okay? The tire brush is what I'm gonna use to get all the brown crud off this tire. Look at that, coming off so nice. I keep dumping it in the bucket because I wanna make sure that I've got a really, I wanna keep it damp. The wetter I keep the brush, the more the suds happen, the more activated the cleaner gets. And look at that, you can see it just really coming to life. So I continually dunk that. Then I wanna clean the barrel of the wheel. What am I gonna use for that? This barrel brush, okay? Get it wet first. And by the way, if I'm doing some wheels that have a lot of deferred maintenance, I haven't cleaned them recently, take my wheel and tire cleaner and blast some straight into the brush, okay? If I'm working on wheels that I haven't cleaned for a couple, two, 3,000 miles, you're gonna have some serious stuff in there. And the reason this brush has an angle so I can get behind the spoke and then get to the back of the wheel. So I'm getting behind the spoke, back of the wheel. Behind the spoke, back of the wheel. And I wanna make sure and hit each between as many spokes as possible so that I can maximize the cleanly, cleanliness there and get all of that old brake dust that's all really concentrated back there out. This is my buddy Garrett's truck and I can tell you, he is no slave to car care. He does not spend a lot of time cleaning this truck. So boom, I'm gonna leave this brush now in my nice clean bucket. Now the next one gonna be the face cleaning tool, okay? This is the face brush. This is for getting all of these little spokes done. And this gets into those little spokes very nicely. The bristles are soft. I can get around the lug nuts a little bit, not all the way, but mostly, okay? And then I got the face of the wheel now clean. Another note to, to think about while I'm doing this, I wanna make sure that I wouldn't ever go to all four wheels and spray them with a cleaner. I wanna make sure and do one wheel at a time. One wheel start it, one wheel finish it, one wheel, rinse it, then moving on. So make sure you don't spray more than one. Now, I couldn't really get in the lug sockets as well, and I couldn't get the brake calipers as clean either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this little lug brush, lug and trim brush, spray some cleaner directly into it, and I wanna go ahead and get these nasty looking brake calipers back to good again, okay? They're just some caked on dirt. They haven't been cleaned for sure for, well, maybe ever, but definitely not for, uh, this thing has 16,000 miles on it, so I would say it probably hasn't been done since this thing's been new. All right, so now I'm getting around the lugs too, and I got this brake calipers looking good. And now I am ready to rinse. So these are the products that are included in this kit, okay? You've got the barrel brush. You've got the fender brush. You've got the firm bristled tire brush. You've got the face brush for doing the face, the soft face of the wheels. And then for all the little areas that you couldn't reach with that face brush, boom, you've got this little guy, the lug and trim brush, okay? Comes in the bucket, dilution bottle. This is what we filled up with the wheel and tire cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and move this away and we're gonna go ahead and rinse. All right, so after getting one wheel done, I wanna to move to the next one. In a, the most ideal circumstance, you're gonna clean the wheels that are on the shaded side of the vehicle first. If they're doused by the sun, the chances of them getting some water spots from the sun drying the water quickly, depending on your water, uh, are higher, okay? But you can see that we really thoroughly cleaned it. Look at the color of the rubber as it starts to dry. It dries nice and black. You can see it's no longer brown. We got all the brown uh, residue off the tires that called blooming or uh, mold release compound, you can see that that's gone to a nice dark, dark, dark black, and that's critical. Now, if you have wheels that haven't been thoroughly cleaned for a while, if your wheels have not been done for the last couple of thousand miles, you might need to re repeat this entire process. One more thing, the uh, part of the wheel that is hiding out here behind your brake caliper, that's gonna be harder for you to get on cars that have large brake calipers and large rotors. If you have large brake calipers and rotors, 
you're not gonna be able to get behind it. When you're done doing all four wheels, go ahead and go back around, drive the car backwards two feet, which will bring this part of the wheel straight to the bottom, okay? By having that right at the bottom, you'll be able to get the best visibility. You can go ahead and clean that little section of the wheel again. So on this truck with OEM wheels, the wheel and tire cleaner worked very well at eliminating all the brake dust that was on there. Now let's say you have a performance car. Let's say you have more metallic content in your brake pads. If you believe that your car is, was built and designed to be a performance car, this is probably not your product. That's gonna be our wheel cleaner and tire cleaner separately. They work very well on high performance wheels that cleaner attacks the actual uh, metallic particles on the brakes, turns your entire wheel purple as it works, and it's extremely effective at high performance wheel cleaning.